Students in Billy Ipe's Introduction to Engineering course at Broad Alban Perth High School are getting hands-on experience and learning the theory behind what it takes to be an engineer. For their first project, students built 10-second timers using PVC pipe. The goal was to build a device through which a marble could travel from end to end in exactly 10 seconds. For this project, we're going to, right now this was trial and error. Mm -hmm which was they did great at. Mm -hmm. Next, they're going to learn the physics behind it, the math behind it, force, velocity, gravity, angles, so there's going to be sine, cosine, tangent, um, simple distance for all, rate time distance, and from here they're going to learn the properties of, of why it worked the way it did. Mm -hmm. Then they're going to have to design on paper something, you know, they're going to be given a project and use what they have learned through the math and the science end of it, the physics end of it, and then design it and then build it and test what they've learned. So they're really going to apply um, the engineering principles that they're going to learn just based on this simple project. Instead of purchasing stopwatches, Mr. Ipe lets students use apps on their personal cell phones to time their group's trials. All kids nowadays have cell phones and they're in their pockets even though they're not supposed to use them in school, which they don't, but they're there. So mm -hmm. um, each group, somebody had a cell phone which took video, they had a stopwatch for a timer on it, mm -hmm. um, and it helped document and record what they were doing. Students using their own smartphones, tablets, and laptops in the classroom might soon become the norm at Broad Alban Perth. District leaders are developing a bring your own device policy that they hope to roll out in the next few years. I, I told the kids um, that their cell phone is 400 times better than the first computer I ever used after college. Um, and I was paid you know, a good chunk of money to program on devices that were awful and now they have these high-end computers in their pockets. and. Um, kids are starting to realize the power that they have you know, through these devices. This year, the engineering students in Mr. Ipe's class can look forward to completing many more hands-on projects as they learn the math, physics, teamwork, and creative thinking required in the field of engineering. First I asked who's really interest, interested in engineering, and the whole class was. They all want to be engineers, so um, that got the class rolling. And they wanted to, to build and, and shoot rockets and make mm -hmm. hot air balloons and, and they came up with a ton of ideas. Mm -hmm.